Okay, so we have one last little section here. Remember, we're looking at the organization of the nervous system. I want to remind you that the nervous system uh, consists of the central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord, and then the peripheral nervous system, which is everything else. Okay. Um, so we just went over the central nervous system. Now I'm going to say a few words about the peripheral nervous system. So um, the peripheral nervous system can be further divided into two divisions, the sensory division and the efferent division, okay? And I think it makes most sense to go to the next slide here, which kind of shows the overall organization of the nervous system. Um, there's lots of little boxes here showing a lot of different things, but don't worry too much about that. What I want to show you is kind of um, how the sensory and efferent divisions fit into the, the overall organization and scheme of the nervous system. Okay, so the sensory division is shown on this side of this figure, and the sensory division is going to be the part of the peripheral nervous system that takes in information from the outside and actually from the inside. Okay, so it's going to sense your external environment, it's going to sense your internal environment, and it's going to send that information up to the central nervous system for processing. Okay. Um, once it's once that uh, information is processed, um, it's going to be sent out, right? So the central nervous system is going to send out commands via the efferent division, okay? So the efferent division is the part of the nervous system that's carrying information out from the central nervous system to the periphery, okay, to the rest of the body. Um, the efferent division can be further subdivided, but we'll talk about that later when we, we have a whole uh, set of lectures about the efferent division. Um, okay, I think that's basically it. So that kind of wraps up our uh, discussion of nervous system organization. These are your learning goals. Here's your vocabulary. I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, see you next time.